vibration alive. Success controller, you can move it. She was born and raised in a country racked by never-ending civil wars. Her village was attacked by enemy forces and burned to the ground. This was when she was still a little girl. Hunted by enemy death squads, she was separated from her family. She barely managed to escape with her life. Ended up in the basement of this one building. It was full of corpses that had been dumped there. Almost all of them had been tortured to death. She was petrified with fear, and then she heard the sound of heavy boots on the floor above her, followed by shrieking screams, the kind that would make every hair on your body stand straight up. She had stumbled across a makeshift torture chamber. Somebody locked the door, and she was trapped. It was dank, and it was full of a wretched stench. Like she couldn't sleep with the screams of torture victims all around her. Oh, this is house. All she could do was sit curled <laughs> up in one corner of the room, trembling. Damn. A week passed, Damn. then ten, ten days. days. She managed to keep hydrated by drinking the filthy water pooled up on the floor, but there was no food. Being trapped in that kind of place, half crazy from hunger, did a serious number on her mind. Did you know female so mantises eat their mates? It's a Jersey The thing. screams went on day and night. She covered her ears, but it didn't help. And then oh, she was saved reading? by a little black mantis huh? that taught her how to block out the screams, how to plug up her inner ears. What the hell are you talking about? I'm saying, Snake, that when she couldn't stand the hunger any longer, she started feeding on the corpses. Gross. But only the male ones. She didn't realize who was doing it. Where did she start in her mind, the penis? it was a female mantis devouring her mates. It was like one big twisted waking dream. Mm. 
There was no mantis, of course. Like it was all a hallucination. Nothing more than some story spun by another person she created inside. Her mm. unstable mind was what mm. made her so vulnerable. Why feel so vulnerable Later, inside? they ripped out what was left of her psyche with drugs and hypnosis and oh, implanted the persona of Psycho Mantis. Yeah. It wasn't her will that controlled the B&Bs. It was Psycho Mantis, half assimilated into her soul, pulling the strings. Screaming Mantis was just another puppet. Anyway, she survived several weeks down in that hellhole and finally got back to the surface. But the screams in her head didn't subside. They would always be with her. Only this time, they weren't real. The inner earplugs didn't work anymore. The Black Mantis had disappeared. There was no place left to escape. Which is why she was always screaming. To drown out the ones in her own head. But it's over now. You freed Mantis from that dark nightmare. The last of the beasts. You got it, pal. Well, I'm done playing storyteller for a while. Yay. Now get going. GW is waiting. And this time, you get to make up the ending. Boring. I want the end to be where I ride a drag with shit on everyone. Excellent. story about in some way because they're so here. fucking mysterious. They're <laughs> meeting in this one, this game. There must be a badge for them. You meet him in Shadow Moses. The first one where you know that she's closed. This time <laughs> yeah. I'll you. And he's the god that says, shut up! Shots is all you have, woman. So you have 30 sh you have 39 shots left. Enough is enough, Snake. You can't take any more of it. It's not about winning or losing. Trying to get you to enforce the
Resident Evil. And what the fuck do I get? A fucking microwave after a few robots. Yay! I get extra crystals. Let's leave us here. Okay, then let's get the microwave picked up and over. Let's get this microwave picked up. Start button. Sweet. 